Grace and peace to you, dear friends. The 40 days of Lent stretch out as a gift before us. 40 is a number that repeats often throughout Scripture. Eugene Peterson writes that 40 is a biblical word with hope at its core. Indeed, whenever we hear the number 40 in Scripture, we should be prepared to discover transformation in the text. Perhaps the person most associated with the number 40 early in the Hebrew Scriptures is Moses. Moses lived his life in 40-year units. If Moses had died at the age 39, just one year shy of that first 40-year unit, his tombstone may have read, from humble origins he became a prince of Egypt. If Moses died at 79, just one year shy of that second full 40-year unit, his tombstone very likely read something different. It may have read, murderer, fugitive, shepherd. I'll never forget a confirmation class journey to a local synagogue on a Friday night with the youth. As we were walking around the synagogue with the rabbi, we walked into the sanctuary, and one of the keen-eyed youth noticed that there were names on nameplates all around the sanctuary. And there were little light bulbs by each name, but only a few of those names had the light bulbs illuminated on that Friday night. Well, this youth asked the rabbi, why are only some of the bulbs lit up and the others aren't? Rabbi Feldman, taking obvious delight in this question, asked how many of us visiting had birthdays. All of our hands shot up, of course. He then continued and said, in Judaism, we not only celebrate birthdays, we also commemorate with love the dates on which our dear loved ones died. He said, when you were born, your parents certainly loved you, but they had no idea of the person you would become, the choices that you would make, but when a person dies, then you know. Then you know their legacy. And for that reason, the synagogue remembers the day that our loved ones die by illuminating their nameplates in the sanctuary on the Sabbath day closest to the date of their death. Moses' life had the opportunity to change with the third 40 years of his life. He may have been a prince, he may have been a murderer, he may have been a fugitive, but that wasn't all. God had something more in mind for him. Moses needed a personal transformation. In order to be considered the greatest lawgiver in Judaism, Moses needed a personal encounter with God through the burning bush when, you guessed it, he was 80 years old. At the beginning of chapter three in the book of Exodus, God calls out to Moses from that burning bush, and Moses responds with three words that changed his life. Here I am. With these three short words, Moses entered the next 40-year period of his life, the reason that we remember him at all. With these three short words, he would forever be remembered as the father of a nation. He led the Israelites into the Sinai, and after 40 days on the mountain, he returned to the people with the Ten Commandments. He continued to lead them for a total of 40 years through the wilderness, up to the very edge of the land of promise. Units of 40. The 40 days of Lent stretch out in front of us. As I shared a moment ago, Eugene Peterson wrote, 40 is a biblical word with hope at its core. I'd like to continue with Peterson's words. He writes, 40 days is a period of testing the reality of one's life, examining it for truth and authenticity. We ask ourselves, is this the way that I want to spend the rest of my life? If 40 is ignored, Peterson writes, then life is destroyed. The opportunity for change is gone. The world goes back to business as usual. But if 40 does its proper work, life begins in a new way. 40 days of hope, dear friends. 40 days to transform our legacy and the communities around us. 
40 precious days to let Christ's light shine through us. Let us receive the gift of each one of these 40 days as we spread the seeds of hope near and far. Amen.